Every tradition has a beginning. For Haverford and Episcopal, their annual fall classic began when football was in its infancy, back in 1889. Over the ensuing decades, the Haverford Fords and the Churchmen of Episcopal have consistently met on the gridiron, sometimes for a league title, but mostly for bragging rights. The Haverford EA rivalry now is in its third century of competition. School spirit from generations ago still resonates in today's students. And today marks the 100th game in this storied rivalry. The Haverford School and Episcopal Academy hit the century mark. Next. The teams have made their way into the football field. There are the Fords of the Haverford School, the home team, the Churchmen of Episcopal Academy. Comcast High School Football, EA against the Haverford School, the 100th game presented by YesIGotTheJob.com. Hey, a very pleasant good afternoon to you watching. I'm John Gurevich alongside Kevin Riley. This is not only one of the oldest football rivalries in the Philadelphia area, but one of the oldest high school football rivalries in the entire country. John, 100 years. Can you imagine the highlight film they could have from 100 <laughs> years of high school football? Just think of two a game and you'd have 200 in a heartbeat. There you go. It's a huge day of tradition and two schools that have been at it since 1889. All right, let's take a look at today. The Interact standings, the Interact League, the championship really still at stake and Haverford which has not won an interact title since the 1970s is in position to finish first this year the Episcopal could really play the spoiler role here a win by Haverford today and a Chestnut Hill loss tomorrow by Malvern on a game that's been rescheduled could give Haverford the title now Haverford which has the seven wins had a, had a loss last week against first place Chestnut Hill Academy, an overtime loss. Tough but if, if you go back the week before that, a great victory for Haverford against Malvern Prep. Take a look at this 40 yard field goal in overtime. It could have been good from 50 yards by a freshman, no less. Ninth grader Aaron Morgan hitting the winning field goal at the end of regulation and the victory going to the Haverford School, the first time they've beaten Malvern Prep since 1992. All right, as for Episcopal Academy this year, this is a team that has struggled, but Kevin, a team that has been racked by injuries. There you see Brian Rodites. He's playing with a cast on his left arm. These guys got a lot of heart. They may not have a winning record, but they're out there playing for their teammates today. And another key guy for Episcopal Academy is Jake Butts, two-way lineman. He has also been playing injured through the season. Yeah, he's got a torn ACL that he's went waiting for the season to take care of. He's got a lot of tape on that knee, but he wants to get out there and give it his best shot today. All right, let's take a look at the quarterbacks for these two high school football teams. The quarterback comparison brought to you by YesIGotTheJob.com. You have Taylor Wright, the son of Villanova head basketball coach Jay Wright. He's the quarterback for EA. And then it's Matt Lengel, quarterback in the Haverford School. Wright's got a nice uh, size, 6'4", 180 pounds. He's just a junior. A little bit of problem with the completion percentage this year, but he's gotten better game by game. Matt Langle, on the other hand, he's a senior, just what you'd expect from a senior. He's the leader, almost a 50% completion average, and he's approaching 1,200 yards in passing, and he has 10 touchdowns. He's a good one. All right, so Haverford at 7-3, and three, Episcopal Academy at 2-7. and seven. On paper, it looks like Haverford is the better team, but we've, you know, on this one, you pull out the cliche about throwing out the records. It's a rivalry. It's the 100th meeting between Haverford and EA. And the action comes up next. Stay with us on the Comcast Network.